It's an ambitious vision. One of Sri Lanka's biggest hotel chains wants to cover all of its energy needs with renewables by 2020. Jetwing runs 30 upscale hotels on the island and welcomes visitors from around the world. No business can be sustained in the long term if you don't look after your people and the planet. Their strategy is to install cutting-edge air conditioning systems powered by a sustainable energy source, wood byproducts from the cinnamon industry. It's quite a bold move for a hotel chain to take charge of its own energy supplies, one that's not without risk. We can be a role model or we can be a guinea pig. But just how green is Jetwing really? Hi, Bhavan. Welcome. May you live long. Come on in. We visit the chairman of Jetwing at home. Hiran Kure is one of the most powerful men in Sri Lanka's tourism industry. His father Herbert set up the company in the 1970s. Even back then, the business was environmentally minded. My father always you know, believed that when, wherever we go and build hotels, we go in as uh, strangers to that area. So for, to him, it was important that we looked after that environment and also made sure that the local communities benefited from whatever he was doing. The hotel chain is a proper family business. Two of Corey's sons also work in the company. And being green is a private goal as well. Their home is also powered by solar energy. Negumbo, a picturesque port on the west coast. There are five Jetwing hotels in the surrounding area. The island's electricity grid may look old-fashioned, but about 30% of Sri Lanka's electricity already comes from renewable sources, mainly hydropower. So, in seeking to be carbon neutral, Jetwing isn't starting at zero. Air conditioning accounts for over half the energy consumed in the hotels. Conventional technology uses electricity to compress refrigerants that are harmful to the environment. But a new type of eco-friendly air conditioning has already been installed in five hotels. Its system cools with water vapor. The German development agency, GIZ, trained the technicians involved. The necessary electricity is produced by burning biomass. The hotels will save money from the switch, but only in the long term. The new boilers are twice as expensive as the old ones, and operating costs are considerably higher. The biomass boiler, you have to keep on feeding. You have to make sure that the pressure is at 8 bar, uh, constantly maintaining 24-7, labor intensive. Somebody, uh, it's manual feeding, maybe every half an hour that you have to keep on feeding uh, the fuel. That fuel is waste wood from cinnamon farming. It only releases the amount of carbon dioxide that the tree absorbed during its lifetime. Power used to come straight out of the socket, but now Jetwing has to build up its own grid. 150 kilometers to the south is the center of the island's cinnamon production. Dinesha Silver farms cinnamon as people have done here for generations. After removing an outer layer of bark, they pry off strips of inner bark. The quills will later be packaged as cinnamon sticks. We also pack in all the little bits, and then we let the entire thing dry in the sun. Cinnamon is an important sideline that the family relies on to get by. Dinesha's husband also works as a cabinet maker. Her brother has an administrative job. Until now, the wood left over from the cinnamon harvest was waste byproduct. Now the family can sell it to Jetwing and earn extra cash. Hiran Kure is visiting another supplier who's been selling waste wood for a while. Small bakeries, for instance, sometimes use it as fuel. But since Jetwing has started ordering from him, things have grown much simpler. These days I can sell in bulk to bulk buyers. In the past it was all small-scale stuff. Jetwing is Sri Lanka's biggest buyer of the fuel, snapping up around half of what's available. The rise in demand has also led to a rise in price, and soon supply could become a problem.
with us expanding our hotels uh, to different parts of the country then and if if you are to rely only on cinnamon wood i think there will be a shortage because we need large quantities and some areas of the country cinnamon is not grown and then we may not have so we have to find alternative uh, uh, methods of powering our biomass as well the company is already testing an alternative briquettes made from compressed rice husk it might be renewable but burning it is dirty work the workers have safety glasses and face masks to protect them from the smoke but they don't always wear them the power plant has only been in operation for 3 weeks not everything is working smoothly yet this diesel generator is a stopgap solution here too cinnamon wood is being burned to dry the rice husks is this laborious process really environmentally friendly that's a challenge that we are facing right now to uh, minimize the smoke and the dust embedded energy onto 1 kg of briquettes is what we are trying to work out and see whether it's uh, it's really a worthwhile exercise the company is already pushing the limits of what can be achieved with biomass if the hotel chain really wants to achieve its goal of being carbon neutral by 2020 then Hiran Kure is going to have to opt for an additional renewable energy source solar power he's already made some investments in photovoltaics but he'll have to invest a lot more we will need to buy land uh, away from because the land by the beach resorts is obviously very expensive and then uh, you cannot con you know convert those into solar parks but there are lands in the interior uh, which can be bought for a much lower price and there it is possible for us to have a big solar park a hotel chain that's 100% green if the experiment is a success it could set an example for other hotels in sri lanka and those further afield